So a child going or being missing, let me correct that. A child being missing for up to, yeah, that's 31 years. So, so you go missing and then you're not found until the 31 year mark. How strange and odd is that? And yet those sort of situations in fact happen. Because to say you're presented with real life is to say, what do you have? Some possible losers involved. Yeah, and more so uh, a dad of this individual I'm speaking on. But like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two things and combine them, make them into one. Like that. So, yeah. Imagine if it was you yourself going missing for 31 years as family, yeah, family and close uh, family friends are in question of your whereabouts. That's got to be, I'm saying uh, for a mother to have a child taken away from her after she, yeah, was was pregnant for months on end and then the pain that go I was gonna say tragedy the pain that goes into that and the sweating and tears after a baby is is taken from you and yet not in the death but to be gone for 31 years is to say that almost could feel like a death I'm saying I'm wondering if for the mother that's a grieving involved in that because there's a bond with that the closeness and the touch and all the rest right but yeah, a Germain man was just a toddler when he was abducted in 1987 in Toronto. Thir yeah, in Toronto, Germain man once again is now 33 years old, has been found in Connecticut, of all places, That's just by authorities. I keep pausing because I just be like, what type of sense? Just some of this stuff that people be doing. So, Lenneth Mann Lewis, Jermaine's mother, said as soon as she found out her son was alive, she quickly boarded a plane, which led to them reuniting at a hotel where she cooked him a meal and they had a long talk. Just imagine it if that was you. Because I always say that, uh, dear viewer, to you, if that was your situation, how would you feel? I want you to leave me a comment in the comment section about that. If your baby was taken. For some people, for some people, they give birth to a child and that's their only one, right? I don't know. I think I possibly will lose my mind in even that situation. Because that's, that's too much of a closeness or something. So a relative of Jermaine's received a tip that he might be in Connecticut before the discovery. Jermaine's father, Alan Mann Jr., was arrested on Friday, October 26, 2018 in connection with the disappearance of Jermaine. The abduction, you being a father. Why not ask... There's so many things that can be asked and questioned and that with the lessons. If if you're a father, why not just ask if you could take the child? Usually there'd be legal custody disputes sometimes. How people run away with their own kids. Sometimes you have parents, other other parents, the opposite parents or say one parent that dislike or fully hate the other parent so to get back at them or to hurt them is to take the child and run off people do that type of stuff that's kind of like petty it is it's childlike and yet I'm guessing individuals have their reasons so whatever with that so yes the father Alan Mann Jr. He was, in fact, yeah, the one responsible for that. Uh, he, in fact, shared, shared dual citizenship between Canada and Ghana when he ran off with Jermaine. And he did that, the running off with the child, during a court order visitation on June 24th, 1987, 
once again in Toronto. What man had did, he in fact got fake IDs once in America. He got he, he in fact obtained fake IDs for he and Jermaine, along with faith, fake birth certificates branded with taxes on them. That's a bit much. And yet, who's to say even on my own end? And yet, that that would be the question. So, what was really wrong with the mother? But more than anything, what was wrong with the father, right? So, man was discovered. Yes, Jermaine's father, the one responsible for the abduction. Uh, man was discovered living under a fake name. Haley D'Souza and Vernon. He was living under a fake name, a fake identity. I was going to start talking about illegal immigrants and yet to piss some people off and possibly my my own uh, mother dearest, what I like to call her, my own mom. She she fights and all that for uh, not illegal immigrants, but just immigrants, period. And yet some of those sort of people, not all of them, not all the way, not fall off the boat all the way, like I said in one of my comments. Uh, sections or videos or whatnot people don't always do things the right way sometimes people do stuff come over here legally illegally and they're they're immigrants i have nothing against uh immigrants as a whole people know right and yet stuff like this situations like this is how babies babies and children get killed children's babies and children get killed you're coming from toronto coming into america with some fake coming here obtaining fake ids and then taking your child away from the child's mother that's in fact how immigrants do things the illegal ones some sometimes legal ones do things fraud and all that other stuff in connection with that sort of thing and a sim yeah, stuff like that. Let me leave that alone. But so the fake identity that was in fact he was he was the father uh was going by the name once again of Haley De Sousa and Vernon, right? And so how that was found out that he was in fact a fraud or up under fake identity was upon an application submitted for sub subsidize subsidized. Can't even get it out subsidized housing that's how it was found out that he was in fact uh not the individual in which yeah that is off the hook so in investigating Jermaine's whereabouts in connecticut it took the u.s marshal service to run it took the u.s marshal service in in order to investigate and there's all type of teams of people involved with that sort of thing yeah and possibly bringing somebody uh, to a jail term or trial or something like that case right so and invest investigate in Jermaine's whereabouts it took uh the u.s marshal service toronto police uh royal canadian mountain police department of homeland security and hood that's a lot of people for one man I'm saying, is it O.J. Simpson or what happened in the tragedy with even that? And yet that to have a child involved is to say his life is the most important. It's a very serious thing. And yet to have everybody like that involved, yeah, they go in rolls deep. But the way it sounds and comes across is almost like it's, it's O.J. Simpson in a sense. <laughs> with the chase off with that and the team, right? So, man, Father of Germain will be extradited to face abduction charges in Canada. All will come based upon him making false transactions in relation to Department of Housing and Urban Development. Didn't I say that? You have to face those, like, uh, sort of things. And yet, the, the housing with the uh, fake use of that for the housing, that's minimal minimalized compared to abducting a child like that because you don't know what the father's mental capabilities were and if 
a young Jermaine was in his hands or uh, possession is to say what all could the father have did with him or done with him because you, you take a child and then you have to tell a child or possibly not tell the child why they're abducted in the first place if that makes sense something a lot of wrong and sketchy would even uh, the story I'm saying the missing pieces behind the story. There, there's something wrong or something with the father. I don't know. So Jermaine thought his mother was dead because with him being abducted as a toddler, his father, in fact, lied and told young Jermaine at that time that his mother was dead. He not Jermaine, young Jermaine not once knew that he was in fact uh abducted while family and everybody else was looking for him and in the end uh his mother in fact offered encouraging words yes to those that say have missing children and they go missing for years on end she put out the public put out to the public to never give up towards parents and family members to never give up and searching for your missing child because the possibilities is there because there have in fact been i saw a story where uh, a man was in fact missing for 46 years that's a long time to be missing and once again what do you have once again a loser or something because that's to say well what all issues was going on uh between the mother and and uh the father i don't like stuff like that i'm saying when there is relationship issues like that and then a child has to be the centerpiece of it and yet it's there's no table right or possibly so if it's a grieving family member such as a mother sitting at one all hours of the day questioning where could her child be that's messed up in itself so leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this. And not only that, he making all black folks <laughs> look bad. When I was screaming and shouting that, uh, yeah, some months back on Facebook of how people be doing stuff and there be black folks involved and they be talking about how all white folks is killing us and then they be doing the worst of the worst and then making us look bad, making us, making us many brown folks in a brown suit look completely bad. That just has to be thrown out there. That ain't gonna work. And and see to go much further as in a drive with that sort sort of thing is to ask even how a young germ. See that's just messed up all around. Because see, if the father abducted you and he lied and told you that the mother your mother was dead, and then come to find out she wasn't, then that's to be asking the question for a young Germain. You was raised completely without your mother. So in a sense, you were a toddler once again. And so the bonding was not formed. But it was formed with your father. So that's to say he's going to grow up and has with some type of issue with that sort of thing. Unless, say, a woman was in the picture, such as a man's girlfriend, the father's girlfriend, if, if he had one. Or possibly he had a wife or something. And yet, what if he didn't? But even if he did, there's still no bond like a mother's love touching all the rest, right? So that's to say even Jermaine, Jermaine himself missed out a lot with his mother. The selfishness in that. What has to be made up and yet can't fully. Because even that's going to have an effect on the women he meet. Jermaine when he has girlfriends or meet women that are attracted to him or he attracted to them is to say there's going to be a uh, formulated bonding issues with him being able to bond properly with other women because his mother wasn't there to help raise him and bond him in a proper way even if if Jermaine's uh father Mr. Allen man or whatever even if his mother was in the picture and him lying and telling his child that that the child's mother was dead even if a grandmother raised that child or any other motherly figure it's still not going to be the same 
because if you're bond and you're a mother and you're bond with your son that's to say that a lot is going to be embedded in that child that way when they grow up and socialize or be in socialization as in the periods and development with that is to say they're going to be able to form proper bonds even with lovers girlfriends and all the rest and be able to cherish them properly but you never know what type of issues even a germane has could be anger issues you don't know because it'd be taken from one parent and yet yeah whisked away by one parent and then now the one parent that took you is now going to jail and now you're now giving back to the actual parent you were taken from that's too much unbalanced and unstable issues with that type of thing i'm saying he was a grown man 33 is in fact a grown man and yet he fully developed and and uh bonded with the father and now that the father is taking this the whole picture is mismatch as in the, it doesn't work as in it falls apart so you're taking from mom form a bond with dad that's the opposite right and now you're 33 your father goes to jail the man that you had a bond with now you're back to be around the arms of your mother you never had a bond that's too much <laughs> i had to call that out so yeah leave me a comment on that i'll leave it alone i was gonna say the stupidity factor in that but i'll leave it around leave it alone seeming i don't know the full story because maybe even the mother ticked him off in some type of way that even she's not telling so recommended for you shouts out to paula uh to read the description is to see it right here right the add to favorites is to click the plus sign uh yeah fatal vows each one of these in fact have a description shattered evil lives here disappeared a crime to remember the last offense unmasked I just jumped up my deepest apologies let me go back you see that me jump i in fact always do that sort of thing that's because my browser isn't completely it's all the way expanded when it shouldn't be yeah so description here as well to get an audio visual preview is in fact click the play button you can click the plus sign to add the watch later right the last defense season one episode one shattered the case that haunts me season one episode one any one of these you can in fact scroll through for a uh, description in the preview on last night many of these in fact are locked out you have to provide your provider or subscriber to gain access to this to get entry is what i'm trying to say that's why it's locked padlock the 1990s totally scandalous season one episode four very good show you more likely will want to check that out there's biggie smalls as well as tupac shakur that yeah that is in fact what with biggie smalls being there the 1990s totally scandalous season one episode three biggie and tupac there that's in fact a good one you want to check that out unlock series your numbers up who the bleep did i marry wives and knives wicked attraction scorn id go original series very good ones shouts out to lieutenant joe kenda i meant to sh shout him out in the beginning of a video and yet i failed to do that sort of thing support to say the children's hurricane relief efforts to do such as a uh click the donate here button that's a good thing a good deed uh, crime feed news to click anywhere within here is to be directed and guided to the outside crimefeed.com for that sort of thing it's full of drama chaos scandal of death and murder and all the rest possibly hitchhikers being turned loose that night i don't know or drive-bys to receive a newsletter is in fact type your email address in and click next 
and you would in fact uh, receive a newsletter from the one and only uh, investigation discovery I think that's all to be said my dog is uh, eating dog food if you can hear the crunching in the background the testimony is in fact telling <laughs> it is so I think that's all to be said for now next video once again leave me a, a comment in the comment section say what you feel do what you choose what even that it's open season and session with that sort of thing and i'm gone one